What's going on everyone? I'm at iCast in Orlando, Florida, 2023, and I wanna show you guys. So Rappler released this new brand called Crush City. Crush City is the first ever release of soft plastics from Rapala, and it's the biggest launch ever, biggest launch in 80 years. So I'm really excited to be a part of this. There's nine baits being released in Canada. We're lucky we get nine baits, and I wanna show you them. There's four in the phthalate-free PVC material. So this is gonna be more durable than your typical PVC, and it's phthalate-free. So it's, gonna, it's not gonna have any of those harmful chemicals, and it's better for the environment. But, in each of these lines, we've got, this is the Bronco bug. This is a pretty cool design. It's designed by Jacob Wheeler to perfectly mimic a craw in its defense position. So when the, the nose hits the bottom, the tails kick up, and then they fall back down into place, and it looks like a crayfish when they come up in their defense, and the, a bass is trying to eat them. So this does a really good job at imitating a crayfish. Next, we have two. There's two, uh, there's two types of craw baits in this line. Next is the cleanup craw. This is sort of your standard craw bait. It's got really aggressive tail kicking action. The other thing too on both of these craw baits is they have these little appendages that are pointing up. And so what that does is the water catches them and they're always moving. Anything you can do to make your baits look alive is always gonna tip the scales in your favor. The next, and this one I love, we do a lot of moping, a lot of hanging minnows in our area. We're fishing a lot of big, big water, a lot of minnow eaters, and these new freeloader baits are sweet. The cool thing about these is the techniques when you're hanging a minnow is you really want to be vertical with your bait. It doesn't matter. You're not really swimming it. You're fishing it up and down. And with that, most people use buoyant bodies. And the reason being is when you rig it on your jig head, the bait sits perfectly horizontal. But the really cool thing about this is unlike floating material, this doesn't take away from the weight of your head. It doesn't offset the weight of your head. One isn't floating and one isn't sinking. This is all gonna sink. But the cool thing is it has a weight forward design. So the majority of the weight of this bait is in the nose. So the physics of it, when you rig it on a jig head, the weight is actually in on the shank of the hook so when you have it rigged, even though this is a sinking material, it hangs perfectly horizontal. So it lets you get down, stay down, get down faster, and I really believe you catch some more fish doing that. Next, we have the Mayer. This is your phthalate-free PVC swim bait. This is good for fish in deep water. There's a three inch and a four inch in this. Have, again, heavy. It has a very good, a very slow belly roll. It's got a nice belly roll, really good tail kicking action and those are the PVC baits. The cool thing too about all, ba all baits in this line is they come with a smart injection technology. So they're smart injected with scent and salt and each bait is a little bit different. Each of them is designed slightly differently and it's designed to match the technique of each individual bait. Uh, the smart injection technology is also applicable in all five of the super TPE material. So this is that super durable, super stretchy material that everybody loves. And I'm really excited about this because these kinds of baits, they just, they just simply work. And um, the cool thing, this is called the heavy hitter. This is the super TPE swim bait. This is great for fish in shallow water. Also because of the material it's made out of, you can slow roll it and still get a lot of action. Typically with swim baits, you need to move it at a re reasonably moderate speed to get action out of the tail. But this, you can fish really slow, still swims really well. And again, it's got that nice body roll. The whole bait moves, it's a true swim bait. This is a fish catcher. Next, this is another one of my personal favorites. For all, of, for all those techniques where you really want a floating bait, this is super TPE floating material. Three and three quarter inch minnow style bait. Perfect for hanging a minnow if you're doing it in shallow water. If you want to use a floating bait, maybe you're rigging it on a drop shot, this is gonna float. And the other really cool thing about this material is the Super TPE is extremely stretchy, very durable, like I said. It's all featuring the smart injection, but it doesn't freeze. So we're fishing in Canada and we love to ice fish. If you're moving spot to spot, you're maybe hopping on the snow machine, throwing your rod in the back, going for a run, you're not gonna show up to your next spot with a frozen bait. The other thing, they don't memorize any shape in the package. You pull them out of the package, they're always gonna be true. The colors aren't gonna bleed. They're always gonna be perfect. That's the beauty of these baits, beauty of this new technology. And next, this is a modernized curly tail grub. This is pretty sweet. Sort of an old, old style bait. It uh, lost a little touch in the industry, but I think it's back now. I know it's back now, and there's no reason that it ever should have gone away in the first place. Again, it's got these upward appendages that are always moving. They're always gonna be moving in the water. They kind of, again, lifelike action. The action out of this tail is insane. The other cool thing is it doesn't come up and catch the, uh, catch the hook. The worst thing you can do when you're fishing a grub, make a long cast, have the tail wrap around the hook, totally wasted cast. This is designed to not do that, save you that headache, catch more fish.
Next, one of my personal favorites. Again, I know I'm saying that with all of these, but it's because it's kind of true. I love fishing Ned Rigs. Ned Rig, I've grown up fishing Ned Rigs my entire life. And uh, it's just something, you know, it, it's been part of my fishing ever since I was a little kid. And this is a new bait that's really cool. It's the Ned Rig, it's called the Ned Rig BLT. And there are a couple things that make this different from a standard Ned Rig. Number one, super buoyant. Even with heavy heads, you're gonna be able to lay this on the bottom and it's gonna float up. The other thing is it's got a modern design. It's got a modern body design. It's a little bit thinner, actually, if you look at this in real life, it's a little bit thinner through the body of the bait. And what that does is it gives it some, like, it gives it a lot of action in the water. The ribs also help with creating some, creating some turbulence in the water, moving that tail around. But you still get that nice Ned Rig profile with those ribs, because it bulks up that thin material. You get the right shape, but you get more action because it's thinner. Next, smallmouth killer. If you fish near where I do, or anywhere in the country, you know that little bait right there just flat out catches smallmouth. Insanely stretchy, like look at that. Insanely stretchy, your finesse swim bait, this is two and three quarter, 2.75 inches, made out of your super TPE material, will not freeze, doesn't memorize any shape, and again, it's got that smart injection te technology to perfectly match the technique you guys are gonna be using it for. I'm really excited about these new baits. They're gonna be available spring 2024, widely distributed across Canada. You're gonna be able to find baits around in some, some retailers, fall 2023, later this year, but you can expect to find them virtually everywhere. These baits are gonna retail, family price. Cool thing is you're gonna be able to pick up a pack of Crush City, any one of these packs for $8.99. They're all gonna be the same, and they're gonna be widely available across Canada spring 2024, but you're gonna be able to find them in select retailers at the end of this year, fall 2023. So check them out, I'm excited. This is kind of the modern soft plastic, and I think you guys are gonna catch some fish on them when they come out, because I know I have been.